to another episode of City Skylines. So we have a huge issue with uh, this little district here. So what I'm going to actually end up doing is just uh, basically removing some of these buildings or the zones and we'll deal with that later. I think having just a few buildings at the moment would probably be beneficial. Um, we probably don't need all of these particular buildings because they're going to be causing some issues. So I'm going to just unzone some of them and we can basically get some back later on when we have a higher population. I'm hoping that will help with the um, industry from it just removing itself and stuff over time. Uh, as far as this part here, uh, we got, I'm not sure if this is commercial, yeah this is commercial. So we would be able to fill this part in later on as well with some extra stuff. Uh, this is a rail system that goes from here to um okay so it goes to this warehouse what's in this warehouse paper i'm not sure why it's going oh wait hold on a second does that actually transport goods there um we are oh no it's empty no it's not empty what is what is it carrying okay let's just follow that and we'll see what what it's basically delivering if there's any cars that end up going there or not because there are there is 13 percent full and i'm almost wondering if the warehouse also acts as a terminal so we'll just follow it and see where it's going and if any cars and stuff exit when this train arrives because that might actually be good if we have additional stuff that we need to store and stuff right we wouldn't have to be fully dependent on a cargo terminal maybe We'll see. I'm not sure if this is the case or if it's just delivering paper or something. We'll see. It should be coming up. Um, okay, he's going to go straight. So he's not going to the cargo terminal. Uh, okay, so he should be coming up to the paper plant just around this corner here. Yeah, so let's keep an eye on the front here when it arrives. Let's see if any vehicles come out. No, actually it didn't. So I'm almost wondering if it delivered paper instead. Or maybe they did come out? I don't know. Maybe I wasn't looking...
So I flattened out this area where the oil industry will be going and uh, I left a little bit of room over here for other buildings that we might need for the oil industry. This is basically the entire area where we're going to need to build the extracting uh, part. So as you can see, it basically lines in this area. It goes a little bit into the water as well, but um, we'll figure that out once we run low on to that. Okay, like it goes a little bit into this part right here. So we should be able to just expand the land if we need to, but um, we should have enough to get started. I need to set up a trade terminal uh, so they can directly get onto our main line that we worked on yesterday that goes all the way to our port, which is over here. So hopefully we can basically get that all set up. Uh, there is passenger trains coming in by the looks of it. So we got 98 people, passengers coming in by train. They should be going to the train terminal here. I wouldn't mind expanding um, the, tr the train terminal uh, to the airport eventually. Uh, we'll, we'll need to make a separate line for the uh, cargo and terminal, like the passenger, but I think that might be a good way to distribute people maybe. That way that's not so heavy on traffic in just this one area. But uh, at the moment, let's just work on that um, industry area. We'll see if we can't get a couple roads in. We'll grab some industry roads, I think. And we'll bring it all the way down that way. Uh, might need to bend it around a little bit. Turn off the guiding tools. Okay, so what I'm going to do is basically design a area that we can kind of go like this with. And we can put our train station somewhere along that line. Uh, might need the guiding tools now. So I'm gonna, yeah, I don't know where I'm gonna be putting it actually. Well, we'll connect that up, I guess, and
I got a very basic um, oil facility set up, so hopefully we'll be able to get some revenue from this. I, I did, um, I have it set to import, though this is going to take a little while to create the petroleum. I'm almost wondering if we're going to have enough to produce that, uh, what we need. So I have, um, I think like four pumps here, so hopefully that will allow us to create our own petroleum. Okay, so they got oil now so that's good um oil's still being pumped into here so it'll be costing us a little bit at the moment uh our farming industry now we had um gotten to level two a while ago but i didn't really improve too much i i placed some uh flour mills over here and I believe a one or two barns for additional storage, though it's not really producing enough to um, keep that filled. So what I was thinking was we could end up uh, producing some more crops. Uh, we can maybe add a few other things of uh, fields to this. So we should have some extra stuff unlocked. If we go to the industry farming. Uh, let's see here, we got cattle shed maybe we don't have it unlocked yet okay well we can put some regular fields down um probably go with some more vegetable ones i'm not sure what direction these are located at yeah i don't know what side i put them on whoops um i'll just kind of wing it i guess Go ahead and grab these ones. Place maybe four more down. Uh, these are oranges. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to keep these as oranges over on this side. And then we'll do apples on this side. And then we can use the rest of the space over here for... Um, what do you call it? Uh, farming, I guess. And we have a little bit of room on the other side around as well. So we should probably start focusing on getting some cows all set up, like uh, additional livestock. I think that would be really important. And we might want to upgrade some of these buildings. We're actually not creating that much um, crops. So yeah, maybe Let's just take a look at the stats. Okay, we're importing about half of what we're using. So...
right, guys, so I've been trying to sort out traffic issues for like a few, I would say about half an hour or so, so it's just not really working that well. <laughs> it keeps backing up all the way up to here, and I'm not sure how to really fix it. I tried putting a main line onto here, and they, they do use it, but they go a whole bunch of different directions, so, um, yeah. I even tried putting highways in, and it's either backing up on this side, or it's backing up on that side. I can't really seem to get it working <laughs> for some reason. I think it's uh, partly also due to the additional traffic over here as well. So we're getting a lot more people, mainly oil trucks, uh, going this direction. Garbage trucks, other service vehicles, and stuff like that. So I think that's part of the issue. Um... Not obviously the whole issue, but uh, our oil industry is doing pretty good. We got most of the petroleum filled up. A lot of it's being exported and stuff, so we're getting a little bit more money than we were. Uh, I upgraded the forest industry, just organized it a little bit more. Placed down some of the small tree sapling greenhouses and farms uh, fields just to improve the profit. I noticed that we get more if we have two of these than if we have one large one. So I decided to put those down. We also get additional, um, what do you call it, trucks for that as well. So it's not that beneficial to go with like a large plot instead. So, and the cost is just double pretty much for the large one. So it's not like you're getting a big benefit. So I decided to just do that, place down another forestry building just to hopefully get some of this logging stuff sorted out, but uh, I'm now producing a lot more than I was, and we are turning a little bit more of a profit. I've seen it go up to 6,000, but um, outside of that, well, that's pretty much I got all that we got done today. This leveled up to level 3, so if you are new to my channel, don't forget to subscribe, comment down below, rate the video, and I'll see you guys next time. Thanks for watching. Peace out.